Hello, my name is Sunny Patwari, SAP Technical Alliance Lead for North America. I'm here joined with Venkat. Hello everyone, this is Venkat here. I'm a senior partner solutions architect. Um, I support uh, global system integrators. Uh, I focus on SAP. Thank you, Venkat. We are here excited to talk about AWS Migration Hub Orchestrator. Venkat, we have heard a lot from customers about SAP, uh, SAP migration to AWS. Can you give some more details about the new service, AWS Migration Hub Orchestrator? Absolutely. So AWS Migration Hub Orchestrator is a new feature within our service, AWS Migration Hub. Okay. Uh, essentially, Migration Hub Orchestrator helps our customers and partners to accelerate and simplify migrations by automating the migration activities that are involved in the application migration process uh, to AWS. Okay. So what are different scenarios customers can use AWS Migration Hub Orchestrator? Absolutely. So um, migration, with Migration Hub Orchestrator, um, we can migrate SAP NetWeaver-based applications which run on HANA databases. In addition to that, Migration Hub Orchestrator can also uh, be used to migrate our custom applications as is. So we, with, with this service, we offer two uh, different templates. Um, so these templates are um, like predefined uh, set of uh, tasks uh, that are defined based on our experience migrating several hundreds of customers or thousands of customers. Um, so the first template that I was talking about, which is uh, for SAP NetWeaver based applications for HANA databases, uh, it uses HANA system replication uh, to migrate your uh, database as such. And it also lets you use uh, AWS launch wizard uh, for SAP uh, to, my, to you know, provision your target uh, systems on AWS. And the other template um, uses, um, you know, your AWS uh, application migration service, uh, which is the erstwhile cloud in your. So that lets you migrate your custom applications as is onto AWS. Awesome. Thank you, Venkat. That explains the whole, both the scenarios, how customers can automate the migration process. Yes. Now we know about what is AWS Migration Hub Orchestrator. How can we get started? What can customer do today to get started using uh, Migration Hub Orchestrator? Sure. So the process is pretty simple. Um, first, the first step that uh, customers need to do is uh, to download an OVA file, which we refer to as plugin. Okay. So you install that plugin um, on premises. Um, like if you look at this um, architecture diagram, on the left hand side, you have your on premise uh, data center of, okay. of customer. So you install this plugin um, you know, on the VMware environment. And with which uh, your AWS Migration Hub Orchestrator identifies uh, that there's a plugin running on your source environment. Uh, there's a step that you need to do to uh, uh, you know let your Migration Hub Orchestrator know that this plugin is active. So for that, you need to um, run three commands, which is uh, pretty much a simple configuration procedure, uh, with which your Migration Hub un uh, understands that there is a plugin that's activated on your on-premise environment. So that would be your first step. Um, and then um, the next step is uh, to provision your, um, you know, target SAP systems using Launch Wizard okay. uh, for SAP. So this um, lets you actually uh, provision your SAP systems in accordance to the AWS best practices as well as um, the SAP best practices as well. Um, so once you do that, uh, what you do is uh, you, um, you know, create the workflow. So you create the workflow based on the template that I was referring to. Mm. Uh, so in this case, our template uh, is based on HANA databases, uh, SAP NetWeaver applications that are based on HANA. Okay. Um, so you create this workflow, so that would be your uh, step number three, and then you execute the uh, workflow, right? So when you execute the workflow, uh, the Migration Hub Orchestrator actually uh, you know, sets up the HSR uh, for you. Uh, it validates the connectivity between the source and target, it sets up the HSR, um, and it also lets you launch your target SAP application. Okay. Um, so, and then it also gives you an option to, um, you know, customize your workflow uh, by adding additional customer-specific requirements. Like, for example, a customer has a um, requirement to add um, their servers uh, to a DNS. So they can actually add an, a custom step with a script in, uh, included into that custom step that, okay. that can execute these custom uh, customer specific activities. Okay. And uh, finally, it lets you, uh, you know, do some post-migration activities as well. 
such as uh, copying your file systems over, uh, like your interface file systems or your uh, global file systems, etc. That way, uh, your migration of orchestrator is helping you orchestrate activities uh, end to end, uh, uh, right from the discovery all the way till uh, your post migration activities and cutover. Awesome, this is really great. Our customers and partners would be thrilled to use end-to-end -end service from Migration Hub Orchestrator from my, not just migration, but also post-migration steps. They can use their own uh, custom scripts yes. to perform that migration script, That's um, right. migration activities. Thank you so much, uh, Venkat. So now we know uh, that what Migration Hub Orchestrator is and what are different use cases. How can you summarize or help me sum summarize the benefits of using Migration Hub Orchestrator at, at a very high level? Absolutely. Uh, at a high level, Migration Hub Orchestrator um, gives advantages probably at, at three levels, right? One is cost. Um, at the outset, this service is available for customers um, at no cost, so which means customers do not incur any charge just for using this service. They might um, you know, pay any uh, additional cost uh, for the services that are provisioned as part of, let's say, for example, Launch Wizard. Um, and number two, uh, you have, um, you know, reduced timelines for your implementation because you're automating this entire activity. Uh, so that uh, basically, you know, kind of ma minimizing your manual tasks and eliminating any, um, you know, manual activities, right? And uh, number three, it gives you a great visibility. For example, your management wants to know what is happening with your migration uh, process uh, because especially these are, you know, mission critical applications. So it gives you, uh, you know, capability to have end-to-end -end visibility uh, and tracking your entire migration process in one space, right, in one page. So I would say these are the three, uh, you know, advantages um, of migration of orchestrator at a high level. Thank you, Venkat. This is really good. I'm sure customers and partners can use this um, information around migration of orchestrator. And um, uh, let us know if there is anything else we can help with. Please contact us for any more details on Migration Hub Orchestrator. And if there is any questions, let us know. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much.